everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura today I'm coming at you with another Dollar Tree haul I have received a lot of good response from the previous hauls that I've been making so I thought let's go ahead and get continue this if this is gonna be a small shopping haul not too much very very random if you enjoy the haul don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're new here subscribe to the channel Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura and leave a comment down below guys. Let me know what's out there, what you want me to go pick up and try. The comments really do help me out here on the channel. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I found that I think is new, or at least it's new to my stores, is the Spa Soap Ocean Breeze Foaming Soap. It says deep cleanses and moisturizes. This is a 16.9 ounce container, guys. Great size, lot of product. Let's give this a sniff and see. I didn't want to open it in the store. So, mmm, smells real nice and clean. I think I'm going to like this. And this is a foaming soap. So I'm going to give this a try and let you know how it works or how I liked it. So this is the spa soap. A couple of things that I found for the kitchen were these new Scrub It odor resistant non scratch scrubbers. What it reads on the box is it's soft in warm water and firm in cold water. It is a one pack. I've never seen these before. I'm going to go ahead and open it. One is green and one is yellow. This is the yellow. It's very, very firm. So I'm going to see how this works. This looks like it would be really good for skillets with you know, grease buildup that you need to get off that's kind of hard. I'm going to give these a try and let you know what they, how they work. This is a green and a yellow one. In the crafting section, they do have a variety of spring floral now. What I've been looking for are the greenery, like the, just the plain greenery shrubs that they have. I have not been able to find it in my Dollar Tree. So I did get these coral with a little bit of yellow hues on it. Hydrangeas, that's exactly what it reads on the tag, Hydrangeas Floral Garden. They do have these normally at the Dollar Tree, but now I haven't seen this color. Very pretty. And with that, I got an Easter tin with some egg decor on it, and it reads Joy and Happy Easter. And it is a tin little bucket, and I am going to make a little centerpiece for my dining room table. I think it's going to be real cute. And with that, also in, in the spring section, I did pick up these bunnies, the burlap bunnies, with a little sunflower here and the pink bow. And this one has the blue, but it doesn't have the sunflowers on top. I am going to be adding some of these to my greenery that I have around the house and also on my centerpiece. You can take the steak off if you want and make a wreath. I think that would be really pretty with these. So great value, guys. Two for a dollar. And the only ribbon that I was able to find that I liked was this pastel check with pink, baby pink, and baby blue and yellow and white. I thought that was real pretty. I'm going to be making an Easter basket. Okay, and the Easter basket that I got was the typical one that they have was this one with the blue and white check with the canvas-like texture on the material. These are adorable. I can't believe that these are just one dollar. I just can't believe that. They're very, very cute. The inside is nice and lined. So I'm going to be making a DIY basket with these. So stay tuned for that. I also got this one in the blue. They did have it in the pink and I don't know if they had any other colors, but I did pick up the blue one. This is going to be for another basket. And some of the toys that I picked to go into the baskets, one of them is this Happy Easter Bunny Spinners where the candies are at the bottom and it has a little egg and then you just press the button where it spins and you can see the bunny on the inside. I don't think you're going to be able to see the bunny, but it's really, really... So this is one of the items. Another thing I found that I'd never seen in my Dollar Tree is this Batman puzzle. It's got 48 pieces and it is 10 inches by 9 inches. That's a really good size, guys, for a puzzle for kids. Great for entertaining them. Another thing that will be going in this basket is this Toy Story Woody Coloring Book, Coloring and Activity Book. And on the back, it shows you that it comes with, with stickers, with the crayons, and then the coloring pages. And this is a real nice item to put for an Easter basket. 
Okay, and the candies for the Easter baskets, what I found was the dots in the Easter theme with the eggs and the pastel colors. This is actually six ounces of candy, guys. This is a good size candy for a dollar. I did get the chocolate bunny. They do have these every year, but it's closer to the holiday. And I think it does have like rice candy on the inside or rice cereal with the milk chocolate. Really good. These are actually good, guys. And this is going to go in the basket. I also got the Russell Stover's Milk Chocolate Bunny. I always get these. These are super cute, and they look adorable in baskets. Okay, they do have the Skittles in the Easter theme. You can actually give these away if you like to co-workers. They have the two and the from. These are 3.5 ounces of candy. I got the pastel colored M&M's. Aren't these just adorable? I love this color of the M&M's. And this is a 3.10 ounce box of candy. All these colors, they just look so pretty in a basket. Look at all that. Another thing that's fairly new to my Dollar Tree, I got these for Valentine's. It is the Palmer Spring Mix Snack Mix. I got these for the Valentine's. I don't know if you remember. They had little chocolate, uh, milk chocolate hearts that were real tiny that I used. And these have the little baby chickies, the milk chocolate chickies that are going to be real nice for decorating cupcakes or cookies. And they do have some pretzels in there as well. Really cute. The last of the items for the candy that have nothing to do with Easter, but have to do with me, the Haribo Watermelon Slices. Again, a repurchase for me. I really need to stay out of that candy aisle. Okay, and the last few items, if you stayed with me this long, are some books. My Dollar Tree really never has some good books, but I scan them anyway, just in case. I'm always looking for recipe books. I did find this wonderful Wedding Cupcakes book uh, by Joanna Farrell. The retail value on this, guys, was $12.99. Now, the pictures in here, they do have recipes. Let's see if we can do a, a flip so you can see them. Beautiful pictures for cupcakes, beautiful designs. So I like to pick these up to get inspiration for different things for my cooking videos. So I might dig up some recipes from here and give them a try. Okay, another book that I found that was, I mean, great was this uh, great moment in chocolate history with 20 classic recipes from around the world. Look at this book, guys. I can't believe it was at the Dollar Tree. The retail value on this was $19.95. Now I did scan through the book and we are going to be doing this on my cooking videos is a chocolate tres leches cake. Oh that sounds awesome. And another one that I found that I really enjoyed was a chocolate coffee flan. Oh my god doesn't that sound delicious. And this book has a lot of history in it on the chocolate making and different things when chocolate started. So I am going to give this a read. I found it very interesting. What a great book for $1. Okay, and the last item that I picked up that's kind of out there for me is this Whiskey Tasting Distillery Log Book. And this book retail for $16.95, guys. And the reason that I picked it up was I think this would make a great Father's Day gift if you make a basket or, you know, just give it as an additional topper for a gift. This is great. And it gives you... Inside this little container, it gives you a map as to where they get the wood for the barrels. I'm going to open it so you could see it. What a great item to add in here. And it also gives you, uh, in the book, you can take notes as to what whiskeys you try and their, and their notes that they have. I think this is a great book, guys, to pick up for a gift. That was the last item for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am really enjoying doing them for you guys. Don't forget, thumbs up, leave a comment. It really helps me out. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.